Hey folks, Ray here, Riverbend Longbows Outdoors. Baker is joining me again today. We're gonna do some St. Patty's fishing. See if we can't hook into a walleye or whatever. We don't care. But uh, they're letting some water out. It looks like pretty fresh foam, isn't it? Yeah. So sometimes that stirs them up. The walleye should be setting up here pretty soon. Start running again. So we'll see what happens. Hang in there. Looks a little bit cool out, but not too bad. Got a line set for some catfish, maybe. Try some different jigs or some walleye, see what happens. Give it a go. Burp. I think I should have wore warmer gloves. <laughs> a lot of times you don't even have to bring your own bait. You can find shad laying on the banks, cut them up, use cut bait. Catfish love them. Let's see what happens. I missed it. Woo. That was a big fish. The circle hooks. Forgot them again. Got one? Oh! I think I got one on mine, maybe. Ah, I missed him. Ah, dang it. Nuts. I got lucky. Baker found me a fresh shad. Get it on the hook. Yeah, breakfast. some tough fishing again man got ready to drive into town and get some different hooks this sucks Jeez. well I've had one hit after another keep missing them forgot my true turn hooks at home this really sucks circle hooks again so Bet if I had a river certified sweatshirt, I'd probably catch a lot more, maybe. Yeah. Baker's over there. He keeps getting some pretty good hits, but no takers. They're still pretty slow right now. So. See what happens. Hang in there. Found somebody's broken dreams. Bummer. I'm supposed to have quite a bit of Irish in me, but... The lucky lady's not with me today, that's for sure. Man. At least I'm not pumping concrete today like those poor guys over there. No, oh, thank you. Well, we tried that for way too long. So we're going to change location. See what else we can find. We changed location, so we're gonna fire up some burritos. 
regroup. I've been using medium divers, went to a deep diver, and I think I had the bite on the, I got like a flicker shad, kind of pulls sideways. Warm. Warm the hands up. Warmish. Good oh, good. Ah. At least it ain't bait. Nope. I ain't eating bait today. Ah, it's burrito. Burnt. Channel. Recut me. Baker had one on for a minute. Baker keeps getting some pretty good hits. They're pretty light though. Well, the water temperature probably still in the 30s, 42, 40. Yeah, no 40s probably. It's pretty tough. I keep getting some pretty good hits. Toying with it, but didn't get skunked. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> Only took four hours, but yeah. God. Got a thump. Another one. To tat. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Teasers in. There's some more free bait. Come on, little fella. Come on. Damn hard for him. <laughs> <laughs> Throw in the freezer till I get more. You can have a fish sandwich. Yeah, fish sandwich. Well, we gave her a go. I didn't get skunked. I did. You gonna split my fish sandwich with you? Yeah, I get one fillet. <laughs> We're eating light. Got to fit into our speedos soon. <laughs> Always got to come back for you. Burrito. Well, I don't know what says Happy St. Paddy's Day more than a couple of fresh catfish fillets, corned beef hash, cabbage, and a cold one, and a good day fishing with a good buddy on a cold, wet, rainy day, but it was. It was a good time. I gotta go plug this camera in because it's about to die. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And, uh, Temperatures are going to warm up. Walleye should be hitting pretty hard pretty soon. That'll be exciting. Catfish are starting to bite though. Definitely got to get some different hooks. So I hope you liked it. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And we'll talk to you later. Happy St. Paddy's Day.